Clapper just froze in my bell. Yes, Kronok Acres. Since we're located within the Arctic Circle, the icy air masses are always unpredictable. Bolsheviks! The Tsar was long gone. And the Communist Party controlled the Nation. I hope you two boys like to wear prison stripes because next week you're off to the Gulag. It was the night before Christmas and all through the ranks. Goodwill filled every heart on the Delaware's banks. And into the camp, along with the breeze, blew General George Washington on hysteria. Hysteria! 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 so I would have been able to recreate them by myself, but the Dunderhead has forgotten the order of the genetic ingredients, and that's where you come in. You help me fix big mistake, yes? Sniper's a good job, mate. <laughs> it's challenging work, out of doors. I guarantee you'll not go hungry, because at the end of the day, long as there's two people left on the planet, someone is going to want someone dead. Not looking so sad. Hundreds of experiments left on the loose, wreaking havoc on my life. Make friends with those. <laughs> but little did they know, when they touched down that day, they landed in the no parking zone. Hey, Uncle Thomas! Can me and my friends play in your lab? No, no, no. Who no. risky? Too late! Chow? Charity? Oh, shucks, not again. This is the first time this week we've attacked you. Our Grand Union flag looks just like the British flag. You're wanting to make friends with the plant? <laughs> oh, it's very compassionate. Also silly. No, impossible to activate without causing extreme destruction. Of course, it's fun for me, but for planet's sake, I'm putting away permanent. No good deal, mister! We need to find a better spot! and one has a job and the other's mental sickness. I'll be honest with you, my parents do not care for it. I think his mate saw me. Sniper! Yes, yes it is. Napoleon! All to me! Who oh, no, knows that it was too crowded where he was? So he decided to move to an even more remote frontier. Two men wishing to fly, now trapped in a future of canceled flights, cramped seating, and airline food. Next time you travel, Make sure you don't stop in the no-parking zone. I didn't teach him that. 
place that idiot scientist under arrest. I prefer to be called even genius. You know, has a lot of feelings. Blokes were bludgeoning their wife to death with a golf trophy. Professionals have standards. Be polite. Be efficient. Have a plan to kill everyone you meet. Samuel Johnson, sir, poet, expositor, dramatist, and most renowned wit on the scepter dial. Right! Never heard of you. Now, let's make some filthy lucre, huh? Moolah City, you got a book to pitch? Affirmative, sir. Well, sure, I, I made the Louisiana Purchase. And you know, folks, it doubled the size of the United States. But, gee, Napoleon's price was steep. Fifteen million dollars. Yikes! Gotcha. The Big L. Like that fine Betty L. McPherson. Cuz, nothing personal, but if I saw a picture of you in a spandex bikini, I'd be like blowing chunks the size of Detroit. I give you the dictionary of the English language. Holy ham hocks! Come on, Sam, baby! Hey, I have ex-wives who weigh less than that! <sighs> Most amusing, sir. Johnson! People like quick reads, babe. Pamphlets are hot sellers. Short, short, short. <gasps> okay. And the U.S. can expand westward. There goes the new world. So I sent a 35-man expedition to map this vast new territory, you see. And two great American explorers led the way. Hey, who said you didn't? But now's the real moment of truth, dude. You gotta ask me if I care. Not shell it for me, Sam, baby. What's it up? It's a lexicon, sir. A comprehensive index of every word in the English language in alphabetical order, along with each word's definition. Up, 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 You're losing me, Bubby. Where's the romance? Where's the suspense? Where's the emotion? Bororama, that's one. And here they are now, two guys who went up the creek without a paddle, Lewis and Clark. Well, thank you. I'm William Clark, and this is my partner, Meriwether Lewis. Lewis, where are you? We got exploring to do. So, I once walked half a block to buy a large order of fries. That's two. Let me see. Ah, oh, yes. Here's a bewitching little passage. Crepusculus, adjective, derived from the Latin, meaning glimmering, in a state between lightness and darkness, as in, the beginnings of philosophy were in a crepusculous obscurity. And that's three! But before we go, I'd like to bring out a special guest. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Oh! You meant turn left! Right. Turn right? Wrong. Most righteous indignation! My awesome thanks to President Lyndon Baines Johnson for showing up on Ask Me If I Care. Till next time, I am his story.
been sleeping for 100 years, but something powerful just woke him up. Dracula 2000, music from the Dimension Motion Picture. Monstrous new rock from Power Man 5000, System of a Down, Slayer, and more. Dracula 2000, music from the Dimension Motion Picture. It'll knock you undead. On April 19, 1775, the American Revolutionary War began with the Battle of Lexington. What's your hurry? Relax, everybody! Look what Frogo made! No thanks to you two. I call it the Ultra Awesome Monster Bike 2000. This baby comes equipped with dual bike seats made of rich Corinthian leather! Encased in a stainless steel exoskeleton. Well, in that case, I'll get right on it. So Steinbeck spent the next two months rewriting the entire novel. And this time, he made darn sure that what happened to his book wouldn't happen again. This is a disaster. What a grouch! Well, well, looks like we caught us a British spy. What are you doing? That's my stable. We're looking for a boy. Nothing in there but horses. You can't do that. You just did. That's private property. We do now. You can't do anything to me. No, what? We can't go back to the Dutch East India Company empty-handed. I do. Get your horse and ride like the wind to tell Dr. Franklin the news. And so the loud Mountie Corporal William Brock Wilde set out for the Maple River, taking along only one other officer to help out. Redman, you're my hero! <laughs> Want to see a magic trick, son? Yeah! <laughs> Look at me! Oh! Oh! Fear me, bitches! Work sensor, but you're not catching my drift. You cannot show nude paintings. Fire seven of my sentry. Oh! God. I gotta try this. Your king go fly a kite. And get a load of these handlebar grips. Equipped with colorful streamer thingies that will make you the envy of all your neighbors. Yeah, but does it work? Why not take it for a test drive? There's room for two. And so, Admiral Farragut successfully led a fleet of ships against the rebels and forced Mobile Bay to close, giving the Union yet another victory against the Confederacy. Does anybody have a canned ham? Bye-bye! such films as JFK, Miami Stroker's Dracula, uh, Air Force One, that was, he was great in that too. He's currently starring in the number one movie in the country, Lost in Space. Please welcome Gary Oldman. show so many times on TV and you really don't get, you, you don't get the idea at home how tight that band is. Oh yeah, Whoa. very good band. Yes it is. It's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh man, if you think they're tight now, take them out to dinner, see if they pick up the check. <laughs> oh man, that's just unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny to see you laugh as much, because I always see you as the villain. Is it, ooh, the evil guy uh, in the Air Force One? I mean, you seem to play an awful lot of villains. Yeah, I do you? play in, well, in 22 movies, I've only played, I think, four villains. But, you know, in this town, you're only as good as Air Force One. 
Yes, well, thank you, President Johnson, but let's see if we can do without your more, ahem, personal views, shall we? But let me thank you for creating public television, a remarkable institution, supported by viewers like you. He's a doctor, which means he stayed in school. Sup, Doc? Hello, Mr. Toast. It is truly wonderful to be in your presence. Likewise, Potato. A we pomme de terre to you too, Monsieur Toast, on behalf of all French doctors. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking for a comedy. A comedy? Like, like what? Who do you see? What kind of comedy? What I'd like you? to do a co I mean, that thing, that, that the film, The City of Angels, that looked yeah. very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> boring. Sorry, my man. I snooze, you lose. I did not, as it were, invent the guillotine. I so want to hear everything, dude. Not. It was my goal to come up with une method of capital punishment for all classes that was both rapidement and relatively painless. Oh, well, that was big of you. That is correct. I called it the Great Society. Social and economic reform to cut poverty, improve health and education, and guarantee equal rights to all Americans. Whatever you say, LBJ. Like that. Something romantic. I'd like to do that, that, that <laughs> yeah, that kind of role. <laughs> Harry Met Sally kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a romantic. It's just it's funny that you. I mean, you're like the most respected actor in town. You're looking for a job, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now British guys seem to get in this town. They all seem to be villains. They smoke cigarettes yeah. like like this and they and yeah. whatnot. Is that is that common? People liked it enough to name it after moi. Hence the guillotine. See, quick and painless. Well, French dude, all that stuff is really interesting in a boring kind of way. But now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Ask me if I care. I'll give you the three. Sacrifice. To some, it is just a word. To others, it is a code. A soldier knows that the life of an individual ant doesn't matter. What matters is the colony. He's willing to live for the colony, to fight for the colony, to die for the colony. At 0800 hours, we receive word that the termite enemy has mobilized. We have no choice but to launch a preemptive strike. I am proud to send you into battle. I cannot wait! <laughs> Let us begin! The motion is defeated. Dismiss. Left face! Forward march! One. Well, let's see now. I paid my way through college as a janitor and a sock salesman. I ticked everybody off when I picked up a dog by his ears. Fierce! One of those wake carnivore Rottweilers? A beagle. Two. Well, I think it's um, I think it's certainly a, a role that it's a corner that we that we painted ourselves into. If you look at if you look at uh, the characters, I mean, be they, you know, fictional, or or real. If you look at our history, you know, the villain is part of the sort of national psyche. You know, you've got characters like Ebenezer Scrooge and um, Waxford Squeers, Richard III, Iago. Three. <laughs> Maximum thankage to Dr. Joseph Guillotine, one of the inventors of the guillotine, and a nasty salad chef. Join me again next time on Ask Me If I Care. Till then, I am history. Mr. Toast is so strict. Sitting on my big horse, all groomed up and shining. Riding on my big horse, so dandy and fine. Going round the whole town with my big old fine horse. Just me and my big horse today. I'll take her riding in her favorite meadow. She'll take me running wild in the breeze. We'll set off far into the sunset. Riding together with my horse. Sitting on my big horse, all groomed up and shining. Riding on my big horse, so dandy and fine. Going round the whole town with my big old fine horse. Just me and my big horse today. I'll take her riding in her favorite meadow. She'll take me riding wild in the breeze. We'll set off far into the sunset.
find a more dynamic personage than that of the humble dishwasher. Look the joy in his eyes as he submerges each fragile dish into the soapy sauce. Observe the loving skill with which each dish is rinsed. Then set up on the rack. Plato was a bore. Bonjour, mes amis. I predict a very warm winter in 1812, making this an excellent time to invade Russia. No, of course I could be wrong. God bless America. And the super presidents. Just call me Super Bob. Yes, this is the life of the steadfast dishwasher. Day after day, never complaining, and always with a cheerful demeanor. Wake up, I have something important to show you. George Washington had at least 12 dogs, including Sweet Lips and Madame Moose. William Howard Taft had a cow called Mooly Wooly. John F. Kennedy had Billy and Debbie the hamster. It was a total bummer. In all, Napoleon lost half a million men. And what lessons learned. In winter, never invade Russia. Miami, maybe, but never Russia. This disaster did not make Napoleon a big hit back home. Behold, Power Puff Dynamo! I made it. Uh, that's neat, Professor. Dynamo? Dynamic Nanotectronic Monobot. Dynamo! From Teddy Roosevelt's garter snake, Emily Spinach, to Bill Clinton's cat socks and his chocolate lab buddy. Why do they all have animals? Because presidents love pets! <laughs> the war is raging, we're up in arms. We Yanks are fighting to save our farms. The bells ring out, we hear alarms. The time is now, rise up in arms. To begin, the most important thing about being a rock star is making way for... Presidential Funniest Town Movies! Seven out of 13 historians agree America's cuddliest president was Teddy Roosevelt. In fact, the 26th president was so cuddly that in 1903, toy makers modeled a stuffed animal after him called the Teddy Bear. She's making that voice of combat ready, as well as having this anti-aggressor exo-deflector array. This baby is the ultimate in superhero super safety. And now my co-host, a guy who's more taxed than a politician, Loud Kennington. Thank you, Miss Hensburg. Thank you. I'll be paying you all up later. Here's the first clip to break the ice. Bottom of the ninth. Arthur Reed is one out away from pitching a perfect game. <laughs> Well, today we're making up our own pet businesses. We started our own pet business, so we made up our own pet companies. We have to present our businesses to the class. <laughs> I bet we can win, because what class on earth does as much homework or works as hard as we do? Chuck's here? <laughs> no, silly. The three finalists for presidential funniest home movies. A rock star's hair must be ridiculously long. Jumping jackalopes, McKinney signal. They must need my help at the canal. <laughs> Gettysburg, near a baseball field, and stars Abraham Lincoln. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation. Ask not what 
your country can do for you. Ask what you can do to get me out of here. Let's get him! And after that, let's go to Disneyland. I say, after him! Don't get away! Come back, you old Reload! Ready? Aim! Fire! <laughs> Nothing did the job until I found Packy Dents, the only false teeth made from real elephant tusks. They're the false teeth worth trumpeting about. presidential home movie will it be lincoln law and struck out too that's, that's of course being a rock star is about more than just looking good it's about playing music a rock star has to be an accomplished now. musician easy 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 now easy and the winner is abraham lincoln Maybe I'll buy myself a new hat. Make that a hard hat! <laughs> and remember that old story about me and that cherry tree? Well, I didn't chop it down. I chewed it down. <laughs> and that's no lie. So if you don't have a tooth in your head, try Packy Dents, the false teeth worth trumpeting about. And the only dentures made from real elephant tusks. Remember, keep those cameras rolling. And maybe you could be the next world leader on Presidential Funniest Home Movies. Nah! Oh, no. <laughs> so long! We interrupt this broadcast for an important message. Hi, I'm Lydia Karaoke Network Censor. It has come to our attention that this next sketch stars a famous Carthaginian general named Hannibal, and some believe we have painted him incorrectly. Please note that Hannibal may have been a dark-skinned African and was one of the greatest conquerors of all time. Thank you. And now, sit back and enjoy the Hannibal sketch. From the 1860s through the 1890s, millions of cattle were driven north from Texas to Kansas and Nebraska. From there, they were shipped back to eastern markets by train to provide beef for the east coast. Whoa! Iran, which had launched an attack on neighboring Kuwait, was driven out by multinational forces led by the U.S. Today's historical target is here. Central Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and Nicaragua. From 1200 B.C. until the 16th century, this area was Mesoamerica. We now call it Central America! Mr. President, dude! Ow! Thanks for coming and stuff! Ow! Delighted! What's wrong here, friend? Ow! Well, dang! For starters, just look! Ow! Mondo disease! The canal digging is slowing down because everyone's getting sick! Ow! With malaria and yellow fever! Ow! Yellow <laughs> fever! With all that cattle going north, one important question had yet to be answered. Who cleaned up after them? Not me. Here's our musical tribute to those brave cow kids who did all the dirty work. Hysteria presents... The Lone Ranger. And they elected Jefferson Davis of Mississippi as their president. I.O. Silver! Away! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his fearless Indian friend, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hi, Silver! Away! Just because I'm on the run don't mean I can shirk my hosting duties. 
Thank you, Mr. the Kid. Hey, thanks for joining us. You know, there's plenty more to the American Revolution. But it'll have to wait for another episode of... Hysteria! Hysteria? Hysteria! 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 Occupied Europe. This assault was directed by General Dwight D. Eisenhower from his headquarters back in Portsmouth, England. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu said that, and I'd say he knows a little more about fighting than you do, pal, because he invented it, and then he perfected it so that no living man could best him in the ring of honor. <laughs> Forward! Go! 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 Get the hell, boy! Lydia Karaoke, Network Sensor here. The network cannot approve such crude language. Instead, we suggest saying, War is like that bad place downstairs, or War is H-E double hockey sticks. Or better yet, War is a really big no-no. Thank you! From the iron grasp of Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany, Introducing General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces and future President of the United States. You know, when I'm about to change the course of history, the last thing I want to worry about is my hair. This situation led to the disastrous stock market crash on October 29th. Thousands of businesses were ruined, and confidence in the nation's government was destroyed. That's why I created Ike's No Hair Club for Men. So I don't have to think about greasy shampoos, unflattering split ends, or embarrassing dandruff flakes. Now I can concentrate on the important things in life, like commanding the largest and most powerful invasion force in history. Then he used his fight money to buy two of every animal on Earth. And then he herded them onto a boat, and then he beat the crap out of every single one. Excuse me. Hello, I'm Lydia Karaoke, Network Sensor. Terribly sorry to interrupt, Mr. Smarty Pants, but we're having a little problem with the word crapper. Look, I'd love to chat, but I've got a continent to take back from the Germans. Just remember, if you're worried about your hair, and who isn't these days, use your walkie-talkie to call the No Hair Club closest to you. Do it today. <laughs> Any time a bunch of animals are together in one place, it's called a zoo. Okay. There it is! That's the signal! Follow that dome. Yeah, like all the way to Berlin, dudes. Unless it's a farm. <laughs> Stop, maggots! Surrender now and you will not be harmed. Yes! Doom cops! I'll I'll spy! <laughs> spy! I got your six! But on Pepper's pet rally, he's on the beach! And now, here's the host of Pepper's pet rally, Pepper Mills! What? Am I on? Cool! Military kind.
kind of way. <laughs> Audience, how about a big hand for my way cool guest? <laughs> Now please leave. I'm trying to liberate Europe from a diabolical evil, and I don't mean Euro Disney. Sorry. Stop! See? Isn't this just about the most fun you can have on a beach without a bag of marshmallows? <laughs> for you. Now please, leave me alone. That is a stupid hat! What? The outcome was never really in doubt. <laughs> oh, 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 I must be drunk. Shall we? And so, once again, the forces of madness have been outdone by the forces of goodness. And thank goodness there's an end to the madness. Tune in next time for another mostly interesting episode of... Pepper's Pep Rally? Pepper!